Hey y'all, it's Laura and I'm back with another Traveler's Notebook layout, this one using the Freckled Fawn August Kit. Now this adorable little photo is of me as a little one and I have a lovely bubble shaped crown and I thought this would be a really cute little story to add to my Traveler's Notebook. Now I am scrapping my childhood photos in Traveler's Notebook form because the majority of them are really poor quality. They're digital copies of 80s, 1980s originals. So they're extremely poor quality and I'm having to print most of them in black and white and or really tiny to get good shots. This one though was an excellent shot and I was able to print it at three by three, which I was very, very happy about. And any photos that I can get away with printing a little bit bigger, I am taking advantage of that just so there's a good variety of sizes in my album. Now the August kit has a decidedly pink tone to it all throughout the kit, which works fine for the project that I'm using it for. And I decided to create this little pocket. So I'm using the Traveler's Notebook size papers, which I think are four and a quarter by eight and a quarter, roughly, or maybe four and a half by eight and a quarter, something like that. They fit in a Traveler's Notebook. Uh, you can just slide them right in. But I am creating a slightly larger than that page because this one's going to be outside of the pocket. So it is actually four and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And I get away with this because I have these lovely little adhesive strips that have the holes already punched in them that I use quite often to add this into my traveler's notebook so it doesn't have to go into the little sleeve that comes in the traveler's notebook. Now I have put in the chipboard here. I'm gonna use a little flag up at the top right side. I'm pretty much sticking to the green tones in this kit. So there's a lot of pink, shades of pink and red. And then there's a little tiny bit of this green. So I'm kind of sticking to those green tones because the photo itself does have a bit of a green tone to it being in a bathroom. <laughs> it just seems to have that kind of a green tone. So pulling in those particular pieces as well as this little circle piece that I'm going to use as a tab to pull that little insert in and out a little bit more easily. Now I do want that beautiful floral that I'm putting this journaling spot on uh, as kind of a peeking out behind of my photo here. I really like the way that that looks. And so that little bit of floral is gonna just be peeking out from behind my pocket. I really love including interactive pages like this in my traveler's notebook. I think it works really well. I do the same thing for my six by eight December daily albums. And I just think it's a little bit fun. It's a little bit different. It's a completely different way of looking at your scrapbooking. And I think it just adds a lot of variety to the way you create. So I am gonna cut a little bit of white cardstock to create a actual writable place on this little insert. And I'm gonna be talking a lot in my journaling about how while I don't have any vivid memories of playing in the bathtub, that I certainly have tons of memories of my kids playing in the bathtub and just kind of reflecting on some of the things they enjoyed about playing in the bubbles and how I probably enjoyed it the same way as a kid myself. I think that's a great way to write your journaling if it's a picture that either you weren't present at or you just don't remember it. It's just kind of finding a way to reflect on how that picture affects other people that you're aware of or reflects on an experience you do remember. I think that's really helpful for your journaling. Now, I am bringing in these beautiful kind of blush alpha stickers here for my title and I'm going to have kind of a larger title underneath of my photo. Again, I don't need to leave room for journaling on the front of this insert, but I will because I'm a wordy person and I really like having words on my pages. So the title I decided to go to was Into Bubbles or In The Bubbles, I think it is. And I thought that was just kind of straight to the point and didn't deflect too much from the idea of the photo. These kind of photos don't really have a big story necessarily, but they certainly have an emotional response. Seeing this picture makes me grin. It just does. And I think the inclusion of little moments like this are just as important as big holidays, as posed pictures, as uh, sporting events and things like that, recitals, etc. These little everyday moments sometimes are even more important. Catching your child in their everyday activities, things they love doing, things they're really enjoying. I think those are stories that are just as worth telling 
even in this context where this is my childhood and I don't have a bazillion pictures to pick from. I do have more than most people though. My parents did take a lot of photos when I was little and that's unusual for that time period is my understanding, but I'm very thankful that they did because I have access to them now. I am gonna bring in a little bit of washi on this one. Each of the freckled fawn kit, there's always some washi strips. And I really like that inclusion because I actually prefer washi strips to rolls of washi. I like the idea that you get so many different designs in a more compact format and you can use them up fairly quickly, whereas, I don't know about y'all, but my washi tape rolls last years. <laughs> I've probably only used up two rolls of washi in my entire crafting career. <laughs> in the 20 years of crafting, I've used up two rolls of washi. And one of those rolls I used up doing a kid's project and not even scrapbooking. Now, one of the hardest parts for me in working in the traveler's notebook size is keeping it simple. I like very detailed layouts. We have established this. I'm a big fan of details. I love adding all the bits and pieces and lots of embellishments onto my pages. But when you're working in this really small format, it can get overwhelmed quickly. And so it really is best if you're working in a smaller format to stick to simple designs. And yet I still manage to fill the page. Guys, I fill the pages every single time. <laughs> <laughs> because simple is hard and I even though I'm using pattern paper backgrounds on a lot of them I want to fill the page so what I decided to do in this open area at the bottom is just use a couple of labels so that I can generically talk about me playing in the bathtub which of course is the point of the photo and then I leave all of the reflective journaling for the inside of the pocket instead. Now this is a great way to just kind of speak to the photo and if they want to read the more extensive journaling they can, but if not they can enjoy this super cute little photo and leave it at that. Now my handwriting is heavily cursive and that's not everybody's style, but I do like seeing my own handwriting on a page and I just think it's a little bit more personal. And so you will see me handwrite on just about every layout. Now to finish it off, we need some scattering and splattering, don't we? That's how I finish every single layout. Now I don't use Heidi Swap Color Shine to splatter on my traveler's notebooks because it does remain a little bit tacky over time and they can cause the pages to stick together. So if I'm working outside of the pocket, outside of the protective plastic, if you will, then I don't use it. So I just stuck to these little puffy hearts and a little bit of Nouveau Drops. That is going to be it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. I do have an affiliate link for Freckled Fawn in the description box below. Until next time, bye y'all.